Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another live session with The Hype Magazine. I'm your editor-in-chief, Jerry Doby. And today, I have the amazing honor of, of having the creative director, the music director, the genius behind it all, the legendary sounds of Blackness, Mr. Gary D. Hunt. And they have been nominated for another uh, NAACP Image Award for their song, Time for Reparations. And we appreciate you spending some time with us today, man. Thank you for having me, Brother Jerry. We appreciate the love, man. Thank you so much on behalf of Sounds of Blackness. All right. So let's talk about you, though, from the inside looking out. Talk to us about Gary Hines. Well, I'm a proud native of Yonkers, New York. So shout out to the East Coast. A longtime resident here in Minneapolis. Uh, youngest of six. Um, originally a drummer. Uh, and a graduate of McAllister College, where Sounds of Blackness began. Okay, okay. And, and like, what was the defining moment that brought you to the music industry? Actually, that was early on, my brother, because uh, my mother, the late, great Doris Hines, was in her own right an internationally renowned jazz singer. Uh -huh. She traveled the world, uh, Australia, uh, Asia, uh, throughout the United States, sang with Sarah, Ella, Duke, Nat King Cole Day, and uh, Maya Anjou. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, mom was a heavyweight. Yeah. And she had music throughout the house. Jazz, blues, gospel, R&B, reg to every sound of blackness. So that's where it originated from. Okay, okay. So you can't escape it. You couldn't escape it. Music is in your blood. It's kind of like air. You got to have it, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Absolutely. And we, we consider Duke Ellington our, to be our musical mentor, which surprises a lot of people when I say that. But I know you know, but too many people don't know. Uh -oh. Also wrote and recorded and performed spirituals, anthems, blues, uh, African music, every sound of blackness. So uh, we're following in the, fo the footsteps of the great Duke Ellington. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was going to ask about, and probably, you know, everybody that cattle on the dog was probably asked the same question, but, you know, where the sounds of blackness, the name came from, and what is, uh, what are you representing? So it's good to know. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, you know, this is our 50th anniversary, bro uh, Brother Jerry. And originally... Uh, founded uh, back in 1969 by uh, our emeritus founder, Brother Russell Knighton from Beaumont, Texas. And at the time, we were called the McAllister College Black Voices. He brought me on in January of 71, and the vision the good Lord gave me was to follow that template of Duke Ellington and to try to be a cultural musical speaking voice for Black America. So we can't call ourselves Sounds of Blackness unless we do every sound of Black, because a lot of times we're mislabeled as a gospel group, and that's not offensive, it's just not all-inclusive. Ah. So uh, every sound of Blackness is what we're about. Okay, so that's, you know, it's deeper than the name. It's, it's you're representing all the sounds that yes. are traditionally and historically Black, culturally. Yes, sir. Black, that we have begun to share with the world. So yes, you know, pull it together as a collective. You've got some amazing talent. Uh, I'm really familiar with one of your featured singers, Jamisha Bennett. Yes. Uh, you know, and her her amazing mother, you know what I mean? Uh, one and only. Yes. Uh, one and only. And there's and, and, and speaking of speaking of Jamisha, uh, we are so proud. Uh, she also just weeks ago released uh, a new single called um, To the Sky. And uh, everybody can see the video and all that. And so we're doing well. So we're co-promoting to the sky. And of course, now that time for reparations have been nominated, uh, focusing on that as well. Okay. Now you said, you know, that people want to put you in the, in the box and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, label you as gospel Christian music. Mm -hmm. um, outside of now, uh, hold your head to the sky. Was that, that was one of uh, your guys' big joints? Oh, you're thinking of optimistic, as long as you keep your head to the sky. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. Optimistic. Yes. Is that what it's called? You know, yes. I, I am a, I'm not a, I'm a hip hop head. So Sounds of Blackness, I know the song when I hear it. I know the, right. you know, everybody knows the words, but I think everybody remembers the, you know, keep your head to the sky part. And, right. and that is, is one of the most impactful lyrics for most of us in our life, you know what I mean? Thank you, brother. And yeah. you're not a hip hop head alone and sound, not only my, your brother here, but Sounds of Blackness. And we have been blessed to uh, collaborate with not only Common, uh, but the late Craig Mack, speaking of New wow. York, uh, Salt and Pepper. So we're serious about black and obviously hip hop is, is at the heart of, of, of a sound of blackness. So we're, we're right with you, baby. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. We're we're in this tumultuous time, and and people have been crying, and uh, I don't call it whining, but protesting about uh, equality and reparations and things for the the we flat out have earned because the country being yes. built on the backs, uh, along with our Chinese brothers and Japanese brothers yes. and, and Indians, uh, on the backs of black slaves, you know? Yes. And, and we were promised something, but yes. the government in its uh, consistency lied. Yes. <laughs> they lied. Yes. To us the same way they lied. Uh, to the, the Native Americans, you know. So yes. uh, Time for Reparations is a, is a very timely um, song. When did it originally um, come out? Uh, we released it uh, very symbolically and deliberately, Brother Jerry, on Juneteenth okay. uh, of 2021, uh, because Time for Reparations uh, actually was a theme across the country for Juneteenth this year. And the Congressional Black Caucus had just uh, introduced H.R. 40, uh, you know, for, of course, H.R. standing for uh, about re re reparations. Right. And we remind everybody, Jerry, that uh, the call for reparations, as I know you know, is nowhere near new. I mean, we're talking about the 1800s. And then, of course, going into the 1860s with 40 acres and a mule. And so wow. we are just the current uh, manifestation of the call for time. And it needed an anthem. You know, the civil rights movement had We Shall Overcome. The Black Power movement had my favorite artist, James Brown, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. And so time for reparations needed an anthem and that sounds a blackness job. Okay, well, well done. I've had an opportunity to listen to it. Of course, Jamisha is pushing it and I, I follow yes. her closely. Um, I'm now yes. on time for blackness as well on, on Instagram and social media, you know. So I'm like, what can I do to support? And so I was glad that, you know, we were presented this opportunity to have you um, the face of sounds of blackness for at least for the media, you know, and yes, the, the muscle, the musical <laughs> muscle. <laughs> oh, bless you, brother. Thank you for that support. You know, uh, people ask how how do we make it fifty years, and and you know, I ain't got a whole lot of sense, but I got enough to know that it's only by the grace of God, by the support of people like you, we can make all the music we want. But if, if there people like you don't put it out to the public, people won't hear it, and so. Uh, and people have been asking uh, now that, that voting is opened up, you used to have to be an NAACP member to vote, but now everybody, you're cutting in them, boo-boo and all them, as uh, long as they got an email address, they can vote. All you do, is real easy. You go to NAACPimageawards.net and follow the prompts. Takes literally less than two minutes and vote for time for reparation, sounds of blackness. Okay, that's amazing. We we'll definitely uh, want to push that out there. Um, when is it going to air, actually? Um, the Image Awards airs the week of, and I'll explain that quickly, the week of February 26th. So on February 26th is, is the biggest broadcast, um, you know, where they'll have, you know, the, the when it's movies and films, that kind of thing. Um, but in the few days be, uh, preceding that, brother, they'll also do the non-televised awards. Uh, you know, this is all on BET, by the way. So shout out to BET. So the week preceding February 26th, and then the biggest show is on February 26th. Voting only, though, ends on February 5th. So please go to NAACPImageAwards.net right now, because February 5th will be here before we know it. Yes, sir. It's tomorrow, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So, yes, sir. I mean, we're already at, almost at the end. We're in the third portion of, of, of January already. Exactly, so, man. 2022 already flying. It is not playing with us at all. No, so, sir. You know, um, and, and we have a lot of things to distract. I have been impressed as I, I did my little research that, you know, Sounds of Blackness, the group, it's crossing a lot of generations, you know what I mean? Yes. You're yes. always finding the next generation of people who uh, feel the power and the message and the traditions that Sounds of Blackness present, and they want to be a part of that. How do you call through the, the uh, multitudes of people who would <laughs> like to be a part of your great organization? Oh, bless you, brother. Great question, too. You know what? Um, we are blessed, man. Well, in many ways, but one of the ways we're blessed is how I should word that is that uh, a number of our current members, brother Jerry, are actually the offspring of original members. Ah. You, you, you referenced and uh, the great Anne Nesby a moment ago. And of course, you know, uh, her daughter, Jamesia. Uh, who we, we currently feature and all of that. But then there's several others uh, in, in our band and a shout out to our band too, our, our band and our vocalists. So really this is Sounds of Black and Second Generation. And then the other way to, to finish the answer to your question is that we, we collaborate and partner 
uh, with uh, our younger groups. I mean, everybody from um, None Above to um, Forgiven uh, and HSRA, we included those students in our past three videos and recordings. Uh, so you got to work with the young heads, you know, to, to pass on the tradition and the culture. What's the biggest message you think, or the biggest takeaway from a, a, a Sounds of Blackness concert experience? I think the biggest takeaway, Brother Jerry, is inspiration, motivation, and, and hope. Uh, I'll never forget it. One time, I'll tell you quickly, I caught the tail end of a, an interview of the oldest survivor of the Holocaust, who all of his, his wife, family, children, whole family was killed. He was the only survivor, and he was mm -hmm. asked, how was he able to survive and endure that? And even to this day, and I'll never forget his answer because I wrote a song about it. He said, I learned that the secret of life is the power of hope. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you know, no greater power than that. So we, we want to give people a sense of hope. We, we say in Sounds of Blackness, our primary goal is to glorify God by uplifting people of all backgrounds through Black music. And so that's what we try to do. Okay, well, you've done it. Uh, an exceptional job of it. I wish you much, another 50 years I want to live. I want to live another fifty years to see it come to fruition, where you guys yes, are the dominating force and helping to guide uh, popular music back on track. You feel me? Uh, yeah, I do, my brother. We've gotten so far off track that you know, and things have been adulterated and misused and abused by the powers that be because it, it right. takes the buck. You know. Uh, and they just they just continue to take and take and take, and the people who wear our uniform don't seem to really get the message that you're being taken advantage of through a new systematic uh, situation uh, uh, the new chains and chains and yes. uh, psychological slavery. Let me put it that yes, way. Yes, sir. You know, Preach, so, brother. I, the, I, you know the the group would say you sound like me. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And at 59, I'll be 59 this year. And, you know, I've, I've, I've had the blessing, you know, being a journalist for 20 years. I've, I've Congratulations. Done the been in the military, raised six kids, 13 grandbabies. And wow. I have seen it, you know, from my father being called boy to, yes, you know, like a grown man who served yes, sir. the military during the Vietnam era, et cetera, et cetera, for mm. somebody to call him boy to his face right? Uh, and watch him stand up against that, which was a yes, scary moment for me. I'm like, really? Because that man was bold enough to call him boy with gray hair in his head. Um, you know, situation could have turned ugly. Uh, Real uh, ugly. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, you had friends that were around, you feel me? So I uh, look to, to groups like Sounds of Blackness to help guide we're going to tell the stories and, and keep the memories alive. We're going to keep the memories. The, we're going to make people immortal. Those who struggled in front of us, immortal to yes. them and, and their stories. And I want the next generations to always have those stories saved and, you know, preserved forever to understand that despite the foolishness that they're throwing at us, right. it, here's the reality and the truth. And, don't get it twisted. You know, we are strong people with a strong mind and we've come through a lot. And just to remember that. So you guys motivate and I appreciate you and respect you as a collector. Um, thank you so much, my brother. I appreciate you. Is there anything you wanted to cover, uh, Brother Hines, that I, I may have missed? Uh, no, you're real thorough, my brother. Again, you know, we want to encourage everybody to go to NAACPimageawards.net and vote for Sounds of Blackness and in the uh, best gospel song category, Time for Reparations. Go to YouTube, check out uh, the video. Go to visit us at our website, soundsofblackness.org. Uh, and we're on all the social sites, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Leave us a message and we will uh, hit you back. It will not be an intern or a machine. It will be one of us, probably myself. Uh, and because we want to always show the love back to everybody. And, and speaking of love, brother, thank you and Height for your support of Sounds of Blackness, Jamesia, all of us. Okay, well, we're honored to have you. And thank you for everything that you contribute to the fabric of music, the culture of Blackness and our society as a whole. Um, thank you for the benchmarks that you have set 
for those that are going to follow um, in the music business and the storytelling business. Uh, I really appreciate that. And I know it's taken a lot of intestinal fortitude to, to be there for 50 years and that oftentimes the powers that be weren't necessarily on your side. So right. that the, that stick to is is another lesson that we take away from this, the great organization that just sounds black. So I really appreciate you. And thank you for the time that you spent with me today. Oh, brother, thank you on behalf of Sounds of Blackness, man. We appreciate the love, brother. All right. Okay, everybody. Mr. Gary D. Hines, he is the musical director, creative director of the Sounds of Blackness. They're 50 years in the game. Obviously, they're doing something right. They're doing something powerful. They are not just a gospel Christian group. They have melded different genres into their repertoire. They, like he said, Mr. Hines has said, they have done work with Common. Common Sense is like, when you join with Common, Common that is a powerful statement because that brother's mm -hmm. accepted on every stage in every neighborhood across the world because yes. of his music. So that's a huge, huge statement. So thank you, Die Magazine Live Sessions, Gary D. Hines, Sounds of Blackness. The single that they've got the award for or the nomination for is Time for reparations and it's been long past due. We appreciate you.